Hi Aries, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, honey. It is always such a blessing to have you guys back here. Uh, today's reading is all about you. You know you're a diamond shine bright like a diamond. Also, my darlings, if you are new here, I welcome you. And if you're returning to the channel, I welcome you guys back here as well. Now, for all my returning seekers, let's just say I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Please be sure to show your reads some love simply by thumbsing it up. When YouTube see that you like your reads, they will push those reads out into a much wider audience. The channel will go, the video will go. I'm going to get into a quick prayer, y'all, um, because we do pray here on the channel for those of you that are new here. Let's pray and pull into your overall read. All right. Hope you all having a blessed day morning evening noon or night or wherever that you guys are watching from i welcome you let's pray heavenly father as i go along my day i ask that you bless myself and i ask that you bless my seekers heavenly father please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know heavenly father i do give you all the honor and all the praise in jesus name we pray amen all right so this reading is definitely a general reading it's not a personal one so with that said, it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with your situation and leave the rest because it doesn't serve you, okay? Um, send it back to the universe where it came from. Class watchers, please do the same. Your person is your person, past, present, or future person. Place them where you feel like they're fit in your life. Place also your placement where they need to be placed. If you do need to have a personal reading, you can always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys in the description part of this video for a personal reading, okay? All right, my darlings, let's get an angel here to assist me with this overall read. What's the angel here, please? And your number placement in line. What is the angel? What is your purpose here? And your number placement in line for Aries, please. What is your purpose here? We have the angel of inspiration. The angels of inspiration will be the 18th angel in line. Thank you for coming through to assist me with this reading for Aries. We appreciate you. All right, my darlings. Um, So before I started your read, I tapped into your energy. And what I was channeling was a situation where someone may be holding on either too tight to a situation or someone is, is is really trying to is really trying to keep either their mindset a frame is what I was hearing or someone is trying to challenge in where you are this could be you this could be that but someone is holding on to someone too tight very tightly and someone was kind of feeling smothered is what I was feeling um, I'm here. I was hearing stop. Someone may be stopping you from a movement, or this could be them. But this is this is what I was feeling or hearing. All right, before I started your read and um, this read, and I decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this one out, um, because that is what I was. That is exactly what I was feeling for some of you. All right, there was a situation here where someone was just either feeling smothered, but not really wanting to say it, or even if. It wasn't been said, but the action kind of said it all. This is this is what I'm hearing. All right, let's see. What's the message here, please? What's the message for Aries, please, at this time? Okay. All right, so. Hmm. So there may be children involved here. Your love life has been affected by children. If this is not you, this is what is connected to you, but it's coming through as children in, involved here. I'm hearing this is a wedding, so this could be a husband and a wife that has children here. The situation involves a marriage. Yeah, this is definitely a marriage that is coming through here. Or if it's not a marriage, it definitely feels like one. But there's definitely children here that is involved into this feeling of being smothered. I'm hearing a retreat here. It's time to disconnect from the world. Um, something is going on with this connection here. Where someone is either feeling the need to kind of investigate the situation here. Maybe 
a need, a need to kind of figure out where things are going because someone intuition is telling them something is, 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 is kind of feeling not so right. That's why I was feeling, I was channeling, um, someone is, is just holding on too tight here. Holding on too tight, I can tell you right now, it's not going to solve or resolve anything. Okay? Um, take some time to unwind. This is what I'm hearing. Maybe have someone just kind of take care of the kids and just spend some quality time here with your person and your person with you. This is what I'm seeing. Let's see. Oh, look at that, y'all. Let's go get that because that one, honey, that flew to thy kingdom come, all right? That one, my darling, flew, flew in the wind, okay? All right, so, oh, so there's trust, yeah, <laughs> okay. That flew in the wind, okay? So there's definitely trust. There's a, there's a trust issue that is coming through here. Someone is having a hard time trusting their person. Um, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, you're going to have to have faith. This is what I'm hearing. You're going to have to have faith with your person and your person have faith in you as well. Um, because holding on to the situation is only going to make it worse. Um, someone is going to feel rather overwhelmed and confined here. And I don't know why I'm feeling like there's jealousy that's coming through. Maybe someone feels a little bit insecure about... Hmm. Someone's being very insecure. All right, Aces of Inspiration here. You're going to have to be inspired by you. All right, in order to get this feeling away, because this feeling could definitely have things falling apart here. Um, someone's having a hard time trusting here. Let's see. All right, let's see. Tap it into the energy, please, of Aries and their person in this situation. What's the message at this time? All right, so there's definitely a soul tie connection coming through here, okay? There's a soul tie connection that's really flowing in. This person really loves you. This person is stuck in love with you, okay? You guys may not be seeing eye to eye right now, but this is coming in as I genuinely love you. We share special things. You and the per this person have a history together. All right? So, but someone is, is, is really in love here. Okay? But someone is having a hard time trusting. What is this? What is this? Okay. So the details are ready to come for this person is saying that they're ready to share the details with you. So there's there's a some there's something happened or something might have happened here where you're feeling like you're not able to trust your person at this present moment. But your person is saying that they're ready to share the the reason why you're feeling insecure. That's it. Okay. Insecure is how you're feeling right now inspiration is needed you're going to have to be inspired by you in order for you to feel a feeling of how you might have felt i will change for you this person wants to change for you okay um whatever it is that you might be feeling at this point angels of progress yeah so things are about to change things are changing so there's progress here i feel this person is definitely making some changes is what i'm hearing because they definitely don't want to lose you. They're not trying to lose you. They don't want to lose you. They're, that's not in their mindset right now. I was my I was my own mistake and you love me. Yeah. They know that they made a mistake with you. And for some of you, you stuck around when even when you know that this, mis this mistake was in pure sight. Right? You still stuck around because you love this person. Genuinely love this person. This person loved you right back but had a hard time showing it when they should have. And they prayed for your love. They prayed for the kind of love that you offered, okay? Um, this was a love <clears throat> from the angels, from the universe. The universe sent this person over to love you. But I'm hearing something happen here where, you know, the trust kind of gotten affected, damaged. 
but they're ready to come clean and tell you everything that you need to know in full details. What is this? Angels of children. Ooh. Yeah, there's children involved, y'all. There's children involved here. And someone doesn't want to, to ruin things. For some of you, if you don't have this child or children with this person, they have children outside of y'all relationship. This is what I'm hearing, okay? And whatever decision that they're trying to make in order to, to, to come clean with you but based on whatever that has happened, why you've lost trust, they're ready to share everything from start to finish. This is what I'm hearing. Please accept my apology. There you go. Okay. Please accept my, my apology because they do know that they might have set back the relationship. This is where the trust is coming in. You're the key to my heart. They're not trying to lose you. They don't want to lose you, okay? They're willing to try. They're willing to fight for the relationship. Tell me more, angels. What's the message, please, for Aries? What is the message here for Aries, please? Angels of spell work. All right, so, oh, my goodness. I'm hearing that whatever they were connected with outside of your relationship, that person was indulged into spell work magic here, Okay. And if that person wasn't indulged into spell work, I'm sorry to say someone here did some spell work of some sort, okay? And let's just say, all right, if, if that's not whoever's connected with these children, if you're not the one who's having these children or whatever, someone is, had done spell work where you're, this person was involved here. The angels of avoidance, not because of this spell work, that the situation is making it seems like someone is avoiding a situation okay um yes i'm hiding something yeah i'm adding from you that i did do spell work on your ass is that right um let's kiss and make up but before we do that the spell work has to be cleansed and cleared i'm feeling toxic for you spell work i'm toxic someone is toxic here because of the spell work that was done please allow me to explain why i did it Oh, I want to allow myself to move on. It has to be broken here. Angels of secret and betrayal. Now, I feel like your person did do, do some things here for sure. All right. Um, but I also feel like spell work was involved here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone got into a little situation ship with some spell work ship here. Wow. I'm hearing that they might have been someone else in the picture. Someone is saying the only reason why I did this spell work is because the third party that I found out that you had made me do it. Look at that. Okay? Third party made me do it. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify. Clarify your messages here. Okay? Because I do feel like, you know, we need to clarify some things here is what I'm seeing. All right. So let's sing. Angels once... You to know moving forward here. Clarify some things, angels. What's the message here, please? What's the message to clarify? What is the message to clarify with Aries at this present time? What is the message to clarify with Aries at this at this time, please? What's the message? What is the energy? What's the message? What's the message here, please? What's the energy? What's the message at this time for Aries, please? And dear person. Some of you guys are already in separation. Um, can focus to see eye to high because of what was done here. I do feel like someone wants to confess or someone really wants to clear a situation here without this person knowing. This is what I'm hearing, okay? The eight of wands. All right, so it's a yes, it's time to clear this energy. Something is coming in really rapidly here. Something is moving very quickly. Um, if this is not you coming through with this apology that is moving very quickly, this could, could be whatever is connected to your person or, or you, all right? Um, I'm also getting the Ten of Wands here. So someone is carrying a lot of the burden here. Um, a lot of the burden from what might have been done, what needs to be done. Someone feels that they had to bring a lot of the responsibility on their own. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel somebody even being 
um, very burdened here or overworked or overwhelmed, heavily burdened. This is what I'm feeling with this Ten of Wands being here, okay? Um, someone wants to clear the energy, wants to clear the air, tired of um, feeling this way, still carrying on an excessive amount of load and burden here with a situation that feels like it's approaching rather fast here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the Eight of Swords. Alright, so what I do feel is like there's either some kind of a self-doubt here. Um, someone may have doubted themselves because the Angels of Inspiration is also here to remind you that you have to be a reflection of yourself based on what you have dealt with here. Um, a betrayal here. Someone is definitely wearing some kind of a mask or something where it ends up having one feels either betrayed or lied to or uh, self-conflicted or or someone just feels really hurt or that to the point of no return here uh someone feeling rather restricted this is how i'm feeling here okay um this eighth of swords really have me feel like change is needed here uh, i do feel like change has to happen this is what i'm hearing the nine of cups someone is either ready to change a situation for the better uh, i do feel like you know someone is ready to give a, a wish come true that should have been given the three of wands here. Someone is ready to grow here because I'm hearing growth. Someone wants to change into something or making a decision to ascend into something different. The four of swords in the reverse. I do feel like there's a feeling of someone either feeling burnt out here or feeling like they're a loser for what they have done. I'm getting feeling, I feel a really loser vibed energy, all right? Um, the eight, I'm sorry, the hair font here. Mm. So, so there's a thinking of a movement here because that's in the reverse. A unconventional thinking of some sort that's coming through with this hair font being in the reverse. But I feel like this person is ready and willing to change. I'm feeling change that is coming in. I'm hitting the king of cups here. There's a feeling of a peaceful resolution that is coming in. I do feel this person has been ready to give you what you really wanted because they know that you deserve to be treated the way that you um, are asking to be treated for some of you, is what I'm hearing. Um, but there must have been some kind of a temptation here that happened. I do feel this, this temptation is one that is trying to clear its energy with the Seven of Cups being here. I do feel like someone is ready to kind of throw out the old and bring in the new vibe. The new vibe is bringing in the tower in the reverse. So something is needed transformation here. All right. Um, and then we have the, the six of one, the six of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So at this point, and take it how it resonates with you, y'all, because it could go either way in the reverse or backwards or wherever, he or she or him or her or whatever. But there's a feeling of an unbalanced taking, okay? There's a feeling of um, a, a situation that feels like it needs either stability or something to kind of have things settling again, once again. Uh, I do feel like things are changing or it is changing um, it may not be moving as fast as you would hope it to move, Aries, but it is changing with the sun card being here. Even though it did show in the reverse, um, someone really put a damper into your joy here. This is what I'm feeling with your sun card being here. Um, but your strength had been kind of shooken, all right? Um, and because it did show in the reverse, it feels more like... A very exhausting shaken shaken like something that, sh that shook the life source okay um i do feel a sense of endurance here you have the ability to endure whatever pain comes even though you're feeling like you can't you will because you've gotten this far is what i'm hearing the moon card is here so there's an illusion that is about to be revealed here this person is really ready this um King of Cups is really ready to be open here, open to the possibility of coming clean and not just holding on back things or telling you what it is that they feel like you might need to hear at this point. But this person is really ready to be open. They have to. They have no choice. This is what I'm seeing because the judgment is also here. Um, there's a consequence. So they have to know at this point. They know that something has to change. This could be you. This could be them. 
Okay, but someone is coming in as I want to change. I want to change the situation because it's not healthy. It wasn't healthy then, the choice that was made. It's not healthy now. Um, and cleansing is needed. I feel like that whatever that was made, like whatever decision that was made, it was a negative decision that doesn't need or didn't need to be in a path here. Um and with the Empress being here, you're taking back your power and your peace. You're creating a new space for yourself because you know, for some of you, the path that you were on was an unhealthy path, an unhealthy stretch. It only had you feeling overworked and overburdened based on choices here. Choices that were made on your part. I know that your person made a lot of choices that was unhealthy for the relationship. But some, for some of us, we have to take the responsibility to know that we did make some choices for ourselves as well. That was um, definitely... Um, not needed, <laughs> over not wanted. Let's see. Okay, the five of ones in reverse. Yeah, you you resolving a lot of the arguments here. You want to put all of that to rest. All right, you're trying to walk away from anything that had you feeling like you cannot, um, or walking away from anything that had you feeling like you had to defend yourself. Okay, um, resolving the conflicts. Just take what you can, leave and what the what you cannot. Because it doesn't serve you, okay? You're walking away from this. You're blocking anything that is negative here. You're putting everything out. You're chopping the energy that is negative and you pull it in positivity. Positivity is this 10 of pentacles. Look at that, okay? Um, you're about ready to receive something here. This is a lasting security. Stability and balance. That's what you're trying to yearn for here, okay? Um, and the work hard being here as well. You're triumphing over everything. You're completing your journey. You're moving on the six of cups. Cherishing your memories with those who is discerning of the energy. This could be past, present, future, family member, friends, whoever that comes in contact with your energy. You're cleansing the air. You learning from what you can. You letting go of what you cannot. All right, is what I see you doing here. But you cherishing a lot of things from the past. You're learning from some things too because you have been through a lot. Is what I'm hearing, Aries. Okay, and we do have the night. Of Pentacles in the reverse as well. So there was a definitely an unbalanced action that had happened here that caused the relationship to be where it is right now. And I feel like some of you just on the path, on the stretch to kind of release what needs to be released. This is what I'm seeing here. For some of you, your person definitely is coming in with an apology, but for some of you, did you you have a part in the role as well to kind of say what you have to say and just let go what you have to let go and release what you got to do and just let the universe deal with what the universe has to do. But I do feel also that, you know, whatever your person is coming in as an apology, they are definitely coming in as I meant what I said. I meant what I said and I'm truly sorry um, for the damage that I did. But I also feel like as far as your healing process, you're definitely going to have to let go of anything that you might have felt that and might have contributed to the relationship falling apart for some of you, okay? I do feel like, you know, things happen. Things happen on their end, but things definitely happen on your end as well. Um, I feel like there's a lot of love here. The love that is with you guys, it will kind of heal a lot of those wounds that are still um on open wounds. For some of you, trying to find a way of peace to cleanse a lot of things within your life moving forward. And I do feel like things are about to change. And the ones I feel like to, you get it together and they get it together, you come together and have a rash um, discussion. I feel like things will heal. Even if you guys don't get back together as a couple say so, um, I do feel like you guys will have a very solid communication where you guys could even, you know, go out and have a drink. Who knows? You know what I mean? Have fun once again. And, and for some of you, start learning to love each other all over again, brand new, because I feel new is coming in and I feel this new is needed, okay? All right, so this is going to be your read. I am going to upload this one by itself alone, okay? But I'm also going to attach this one to a prior read that I did yesterday. And we're going to be doing that in all the reads, okay? Um, we do not for Aries, we do not for Gemini, and we do not for Scorpio. All the other reads will be uploaded by itself only. But this one will be done right now by itself, and then I will attach it to another read. So look out for that for those of you that might have missed those reads. It is critical that you guys watch it, okay? Because, honey baby, well, let's not even get into that, okay? But just go ahead and thumbs up your reads so others can know that the reads are here. 
go ahead and um let me know if you do need to have a prayer request down below um divine intervention in the comment section receiving your blessing pray for me as i'll be praying for you and with that said my darlings always remember to seek first and you always find bye guys hi aries welcome back welcome back to your channel this is going to be your next 24 okay so we did your bonus and we connected your mega. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one and then I'll do a, a mini one, a little extra one for you guys later. So we'll do that right after this. And I will be attaching prior reads to present ones. So stay on the lookout for the very end, okay? All right, my darlings, if you're here for your first time, I welcome you. And if you are returning to my channel, I welcome you guys back. You know you're a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. For my for my returning seekers, you guys know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you to every single one of you that support this channel. I see the love. I see the love that you show. I see your energy. I feel your energy. And I appreciate you guys to the moon and to the stars and to the universe where you came from. Okay. All right. So let's get into a pray. Um, be sure to thumbs up your reads when you come in, because when you thumbs it up, it does help the channel to grow. OK, let's pray and tap into your next 24. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So just know this, Aries, that this is a general reading and not a personal one. Okay. It may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does and leave the rest. Um, it could pick up your person, past, present, or future. Cross watchers, the same thing applies to you. Um, place your placement where it needs to be placed. If it doesn't fit, just let it quick because it's not for you. Send it back to the universe where it came from, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and... And I, I, let's say, I almost forgot, y'all. If you knew the personal reading, the information is down below, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get you an angel here. This angel will assist me with your reading today as well. What's your purpose here? We have the angels of adventure. And this will be the first angel in line that came through to assist me with your read. You can always write this angel down, y'all, on white paper or parchment. Place it under your pillow while you sleep tonight, okay? A massive shout out. I have to give an acknowledgement to every single person that has um, done a reading this week. It has been since the week has started. Um, it has been a very busy one. Thank you guys for trusting in me. Thank you guys for reaching out for your reads. Um, and for those of you that have reads with me already, I thank you guys for coming back. It's been really busy y'all, but I am trying to get every single one of you in. All right. Um, the easiest way to connect with me y'all is, is via text. Okay. Because I do get to see your, your messages there. As soon as you text me for a reading, okay? All right, let me go ahead and see your next 24 here. What is coming in towards you within the next 24? What is coming in towards Aries in the next 24? What's the next 24? I'm getting the Angels of Adventure here. So let's see what they're saying. Angels of Adventure. Adventure. Toes and labor. Okay. So someone may be working a little overtime here. Um, but some of you may be working extra hard here to make ends meet. Might be having some kind of a financial difficulty. Um, I feel like, you know, change is coming. Or you're expecting this change because of the work that you've been putting in. I'm hearing I'm manifesting work here. Because someone is needing change. Um, maybe going through a difficult time here. Yeah, very difficult time. For some of you, you feel like you're either in prison or someone that you know is connected to this place, okay? Um, and this is why you may have to put the extra work in. There's a message that's coming in. There's a message of concern that's coming in for the, so some of you. This is what I'm seeing, um, for your next 24 hours. Let me have some messages here, please. What is the message? 
Next 24. Next 24 for Aries, please. What is the next 24 for Aries, please? Um, angels, universe, what is it that you need me to share with Aries at this time? Next 24, please. What is the next 24 coming in towards Aries at this time? Use me as your holy temple to spread love for the ones that need to know. What is the message? What is the message? What is it that you need me to share with Aries at this time? All right, so I'm getting the realignment to you. Ooh. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Someone is really working hard is what I already know. And it's either taking its toll, toll and labor. It's taking its toll. It's ripping someone apart here. That has to change. And again, this change is coming through as in a realignment. Someone needs to reevaluate the situation here. Um, it's not only that your life is calling for an alignment, but the situation that you're presently is in or found yourself in needs a realignment. It needs to go back in the reverse. And you're just saying shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity. Okay. That's one period. What is this alignment? What is this realignment here? Pay attention um, look out for signs from a divine knowledge, the red flag. Ooh, you know something, y'all, Aries, let me tell you something. I have had this vision, y'all, um, had this vision, I'll say maybe about two weeks ago and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and the Holy Spirit said that I need to have every single person claim divine intervention in the readings that I do, whether I'm doing personal or whether I'm doing um, general here for you guys, I have to have a divine intervention. And the weirdest thing is happening. It's like every single read that I do, whether I'm doing a personal or whether I'm doing a general reading, divine keeps coming up every single time, y'all. I'm getting... Pay attention. Look out for signs from divine acknowledged. Okay? The red flag. Acknowledged the red flags, y'all. I'm not kidding. Serious. Every time I'm doing a reading, divine keeps coming up. All right. So I'm getting um, declutter. So you have to declutter some things. You have to declutter some things because someone is trying to put in this work. And I feel like the more work you're putting in, the more you're not seeing the fruit of your labor. And I'm getting, I'm trying to feel kind of choked up like somebody's either crying or about to cry or had you happen. Crying is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> wow. Let go of old items. Create a new sacred space for yourself. This is all it takes. This is what angels are saying here. You have to declutter. Now I'm hearing something about a confession here. If this is not you that is coming in as I want to confess this situation here for what I have done, then this is what is coming in towards you. Releasing a secret and pursuing a virtue through honesty. Somebody done did something, okay? Somebody did something that they need to release. I'm seeing someone releasing something here that has really been taken a toll into I shouldn't have done this to this situation, okay? And again, y'all, take how it resonates with you because it could go in the reverse, okay? It definitely could go in the reverse. Um, the roles could be reversed. I could be saying he when it's a her. I could be saying her when it's a he. I could be saying him when it's a, it's a her or whatever, okay? She, he, him, the old lady, whoever. Take it how it sits or it suits you. But I see someone releasing something or needing to release something that they might have trapped in a bottle. I'm hearing trapped in a bottle here. This is what I'm hearing. Somebody trapped something in a body and now it needs to be released. It has to be released in order to, to set yourself free. Release grudges, wounds, and pent up feeling through healthy activities. Healthy activities, okay? Because it's taking too much energy. Energy is activated. Just know that not all good energies are good energy. Some bad energies is out there way in the dark for you to mess up. And tap in. Any bad energy does not come into your life unless you open some kind of a door to this bad energy. Okay? Bad energy. Energy activated. Connect to the divine. Y'all. You hear what I'm telling you about this divine? 
Connect to the divine through meditation and prayer. I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see it. You see that divine right here? This is all I've been seeing, y'all. It's been following me when I sleep. It's following me when I wake up. It's following me when I'm at the store. Divine intervention. Claim it right now in the name of the Almighty God. Okay? Evaluation. Evaluation. Feed out what doesn't serve you. Get rid of what doesn't serve you. Reevaluate re the situation. If it doesn't serve you, no matter how hard you've been working for this, whatever the situation is, and if it's not serving you, let it go. For some of you, you feel like this is your twin flame person. Okay? Angels are saying... A spiritual connection between you and your twin flame should be a spiritual connection between you and only your twin flame. If you're not getting that, if you're getting nothing but fear, honey, okay, then it's just saying that expecting the worst, afraid of failure and wasting time on negative thoughts, all right? These negative thoughts are calling in self-limiting beliefs. Negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. In your life. Mm -mm -mm. Pursuing bigger and greater and downward. That is what you need to be doing. For some of you worried about your, your career, your money, what you should be doing right now. You're kind of unsure about your, your life. But ain't the same. You just have to manifest that life. Okay. Expansion. <laughs> Manifestation. Y'all. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> right there. Okay? Right there. You're going to have to manifest your life, okay? Ain't nothing going to work without this manifestation. This is all this, it takes. Manifestation. Manifestation expansion. Pursue bigger and greater in downver. Law of attraction. Thoughts become things. Manifest it. That's it. What's the message here, please? Next 24. Next 24. Next 24 is giving me a uh, deception here. This is what's coming true for your next 24. Okay? Now, this deception that is coming true, it says false illusion. Okay? Someone is mentally falling apart here into a bad habit. This is what it's saying. Or for some of you, this could be some kind of a denial here. Tell me more. Next 24. Tell me more. Next 24, please. Next 24 is moving on. Moving on from it. Let it go. Let it go, y'all. Let it go. Findings or endings here. Just let it go. Um, angels are saying here, okay? Um, endings that brings healthy beginnings. If it doesn't bring you any healthy beginnings, then it doesn't serve you, honey. Took to the loop, took to the loop, took to the loop. Doesn't serve you. Let it go. It, 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 it's not worthy. It's not worthy. It's not worthy to be praised. It's not worthy to be here. So you're going to let it go because your life is calling for an alignment here. Pay attention. Paying attention to the red flags here because the red flags is cautioning you. Um, divine intervention will lead you. For some of you having a hard time figuring out where the hell these red flags are coming from. Divine intervention, honey. Claim it. Okay? Divine interventions needed. If somebody's stuck. I'm hearing somebody's feeling stuck here. Either feeling stuck because of what had happened from that person to you, or feeling stuck based on what you might have done to that situation. But somebody's feeling, somebody's feeling rather guilty and wants to free somebody here. Deception. You're going to have to move on from it. It's time that you move on in order to reclaim your happiness here. And that reclaiming is feeling something more like decluttering the energy. Throwing the things out that you don't need. Angel said it right here. Declutter. Declutter the energy. Because it doesn't serve you anymore. Time let it go. Free it up. Free up space so you can let the new in. You can't have new because you're holding on to the past. This is what I'm hearing, Aries. The next 24 is saying that you need the Queen of Wands in your life. Tell me more. 
clarify the screen of wands, please. What is the screen of wands here? All right, so we have the queen of wands, and then we have the six of pentacles. All right, let me have one more. Clarify the queen of wands, the six of pentacles, please. All right. Oh, the magician in the reverse. All right, so what I am seeing is that you need to stay focused here. Um, fo being focused is going to have you gaining your confidence because I feel like for some of you have lost your confidence a million times over. Um, your situation that you're connected to and that is connected, you're connected to it. For some of you, I feel like you're connected to the situation more than the situation is trying to be connected to you, okay? I'm just saying what I'm seeing here. Um, it made you feel happy but still feeling lost here. You have given a lot here, the Six of Pentacles. You have given so much of you. Given and given and given. What are you receiving back? A feeling of being very unbalanced here. Trying to please, please this one, that one hasn't gotten you any any much further. With the magician being here in the reverse, I do feel like someone is holding on to a situation that is very destructive at this moment. I do feel like someone is either tied or wrapped here. There's a sense of an STD coming in because this is in the reverse here. Um, the tower comes in with that. And I do feel like, you know, the situation is falling apart here. But someone is still kind of waiting and watching to see what's going to happen here. You guys maybe could be in separation because someone is wanting this. I do feel a feeling of a third party being coming through here with the tower here. Um, some kind of a sudden, something suddenly kind of change. This could have been a sudden change with, uh, with how you think or how you evaluated the situation. Or this could be them that does really change overnight um, because of someone felt feeling rather stuck and is finally kind of awoken from a feeling of being stuck and don't want to be stuck anymore. This could be you, this could be them. But what I do see, whatever it is uh, that is going on between you guys, it's really causing a lot of conflicts here. Um, not only is it cause, causing conflicts, but I also feel like it is it's seriously falling apart. Someone is holding on to something or trying to do something to hold on to something, but needs to let go because this page of pentacles also here in the back of the deck. The page of pentacles, you know, this person wants to talk. This could be you, but someone doesn't want to talk here. Um, I feel like for some of you, you either need to be motivated or filled with motivation here. The ace of wands also being in the reverse. Somebody's just not in alignment right now. They're not in alignment here because this is in the reverse, okay? Um, but someone wants to start something. Someone wants to start something new here. Um, this could be you. This could be them. If this person wants to start something new based on what I'm seeing here, this person really wants to start something new somewhere else. Someone is trying to get away from a situation here. Um, if this, if this is you that wants to start something new, you're hoping that this person will change. But there's something that is tied. Someone is either stuck or someone is either tied or feels like they're imprisonment here because of what is coming in towards them. Ooh, mummy, mummy. All right, this set of swords is also here in the back of the deck. It really has me feel like someone is really going through a rough time here. Um, you either feel like you're a victim. Or this could be them. This could be you. Um, I feel like someone either feels betrayed here, but I'm hearing someone is either trying to see clarity from someone that they could talk to or someone that could listen. I feel like this high priestess is a person who really gives great advice. And I feel like you, you know, this is what you need at this point. For some of you, you might have already came in contact with someone that will give you great advice based on what you're definitely dealing with right now. Okay. If this is not like a spiritual person, this is definitely a person of great, of a leadership type of a position that really understands what you are dealing with. And it's like really want to help you to move on from what you are presently facing here. I do feel like, you know, at this point, you're ready to be open. You're ready to release a lot of things that you might have started that might have failed. I feel like you're ready to walk away. From a lot of things and change something to a source yeah you're ready to change some things here because you kind of realize right now that you need peace with the situation you're trying to let that go you're removing whatever that needs to be removed such as a mask here for some of you it's just a blindfold it's easily removed but someone had choose to hold on and just have the blindfold there because you're not really trying to see the situation for what it really is or what it has really caused 
because of for some 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 of you just been selfishness and just know again that the roles could be reversed um, but someone is holding on to something here, even though there were no communication the way that you wanted it to be or the way that they had hoped it to be. All right. Um, something is not adding up here. I feel like two people maybe has lost interest on um, the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Follow your, inst follow your instinct here. Okay. This is the Ace of Wands here. You need to follow your, your instinct moving forward. Okay. Because you're looking for a new beginning. You need a fresh start. Okay. Um, I do feel like there's a child here that is that is involved here. There's definitely a child here. This is what I'm feeling. Or someone might have even someone might have even gotten someone pregnant. This, if this is not you, Aries, that is with child, or if this is not you that is thinking about having a baby with this person, this person had a baby outside of the relationship with you, okay? Because I am getting this Ace of Wands and it feels like there's a child somewhere, okay? There's definitely a child somewhere. It's not like they may, they might not have wanted this child, but the child is here, okay? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a child. There's a struggle here, okay? So this person is still fighting a battle here. The Seven of Wands. But you're trying to find a position with this situation, when there's no position, you have to be encouraged, okay? Because you've been beat up, burned out in every means of the way. The, the nine of wands, the eight of swords. Ooh. I know you see that somebody has feel like this person might have betrayed you. This is what I'm seeing, okay? Next 24 is bringing in your eight of swords. You have to take responsibility because you're feeling trapped here. You're feeling beat up here, the Nine of Wands. You're feeling burnt out. You've lost your hope here, all right? Because somebody's choosing not to let go of the way that they are. And then you're bringing it all over here into the Eight of Swords. It's feeling stuck. Even though you know that there's betrayal here, somebody's still stuck and still having a situation. Watch to see if someone will change. Hello, this person is not going to change right about now. We have the King of Wands here. It's a, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. That's a no. This person is not ready to change right now. So if, if if you're thinking of kind of really finding a way to keep this person under wraps, this person is going to be miserable from top to bottom. And so are you. You're going to be as miserable because if you feel like you're dealing with a person who's chained up and wrapped up and locked up in a prison cell somewhere, then this is going to go in the reverse. And this is exactly how you're going to feed it. So I have to release it back to the, to the universe where it came from and claim divine intervention if if the higher power wants things to change and wants things to come to you, believe me, honey, it will come in due time, okay? In due time. But right now, it's a no. It's not the right time. This is what angels are saying, okay? It's not the right time. Timing is off, okay? All right, so this is going to be your next 24 um, Aries, okay? I hope it will resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to thumbs up your reads on your way out, my darlings, okay? On your way out, thumbs up your reads for me. If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know down below that you need one. And of course, pray for me as I am praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you're always fine. Um, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye-bye. Bonus is done. And I've attached a couple of other reads, so those are done. So this is going to be your mini one, your little extra something, something. Okay. Um, so this read, I'm going to attach to another one. You'll see this by itself. And then I'll attach it to another read that you guys might've seen earlier. So stay on the lookout for that one. Right. Um, if you're here for your first time, I welcome you, my darlings. And if you are returning back to the channel, I welcome you back. You know, you're a diamond shine right like a diamond. Now, my darlings, we do pray here on the channel, but be sure that you thumbs up your reads for me as soon as you come in. When you thumbs it up, YouTube see that you like it and they will push it out into a much wider audience. The channel will grow, the video will grow. And for all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and thank you for the support that you show here on the channel. I see the love and believe me, the love is not going unappreciated. I am going to get into a prayer. 
and then tap into the energy and just pull in the, the extra message, okay? All right, y'all, let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers, Heavenly Father. Please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. All right, so, Aries. Aries, my darlings, this reading is a general reading and not a personal one, okay? It may or it may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does resonate and leave the absolute rest because it does not serve you. Send it back to the universe where it came from. Cross watchers, the same applies for you as well. The same, the absolute same. If it doesn't fit, don't force it, okay? Now, if you do need to have a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys in the description part of this video for a personal reading, okay? All right, let's see what's coming to your read right now because I'm pretty excited to see this one. Oh, okay. All right. Let me go ahead and pull two cards, two more cards here from this deck. And again, this is going to be your mini one. All right. So we're getting an ego that is coming through. And believe me when I tell you, Aries, that this, this energy was not wasting any time to let me know that they have an ego going on here. Okay. It didn't waste any time. It wasn't wasting any time. Somebody's saying I have an ego. And that's not some period. Okay. Um, and the thing with this ego that I see that's coming in is that they're definitely admitting that this ego is a problem. This ego was a problem when everything started with you guys. Okay. I let my pride um, get in the way of the connection or connection. The connection that we have. Ego. My ego. My ego got the best of me. And it really took a toll. Now, because it took have taken such a toll, what I am seeing here is I, I'm, I'm afraid it's too late to take action because I have done a lot of damage here. This person has done a lot of damage here because of this ego that is coming through, okay? um, The damage. Oh, the damage has been done. And why am I getting a headache all of a sudden? This is a massive damage that has been done, okay? Now... What I do see here um, for some of you, Aries, um, even though a time is kind of going by and someone is kind of questioning if the timing is off or if there's no time, if there's enough time to kind of do some kind of a damage control and kind of fix some things, there's a conversation that's trying to come through, okay? Someone wants to have a conversation. Someone wants to talk with you, okay? This is what I'm seeing. Um, I want to call you. So the call, a phone call is trying to come through. This person is thinking that they would love to reach out to you and try to fix some things, okay? Um, maybe make amends to what had happened between you guys, okay? They really want to come in and fix a couple of things here. I want to call you and hear your voice. I want to call you and hear your voice because I do have hope. I'm hoping. I have hope that you will give me another chance because I haven't given up on us yet. I haven't given up on um, what we had yet, this relationship. I'm still hoping that you will even take the time out to hear what I have to say. Um, it could have been, if it's not a phone call, it's a, it's a text message, it's an email, it's a message to someone else, but someone is definitely trying to communicate with you at this point based on what had happened with your situation um i do feel like someone is just really maybe feeling like you know they don't want to do that because they want to just have peace um peace in the sense of we're not together anymore i did give you pay i did have patience here um someone is really trying to declutter that patience that was given <laughs> all right um or for some of you, you just um, maybe just had given everything too much of your strength. Or maybe that it did take a lot of your strength already as is. 
And so the time is kind of essential. The, the time is very critical um, for some of you guys because you don't want to put any more effort in what I'm seeing here. Because for some of you already know that your person, even though they might have never admitted that they had an ego, you already knew without them saying a word, one single word, okay? What's the message here, please? What's the message here? Okay. So there's an obsession that's coming in. Let's see, what is this obsession here? What is this obsession? I'm getting happiness. I'm getting expansion. What is this obsession? Obsession, happiness, and, and expansion. What is this? What is this? Okay, so I'm getting revolving issues. Okay, so see, um, there's definitely a, some kind of obsession here. Okay, it could have been a physical obsession or mental obsession here, but someone is really obsessed about the situation here, past situation, present or future, what's coming. Um, but I'm, I'm getting focusing too much on one situation, the need to take a step back. So someone is maybe must maybe overthinking something or just doing something. It could be also someone was indulging into drinking or partying or whatever. All right. Um, for some of you, situation just need to really take a step back. So this way things could be resolved. This could have been on your end or their end or wherever the end is coming from. Okay. But it's really tapping into happiness here because happiness is needed. This could be happiness that you truly need yourself here. It's just saying new discoveries that leads to celebrations. Love yourself first. You cannot love anyone without loving yourself first. You could give all the love that you need to give to a person. But if it's not returning back to you 10 times 10, then you're going to be falling short of your soul here. And I feel like this is what has happened for some of you here. And this is why I feel like the timing is a little bit off as far as reconciliating or reconciliation for some of you. Now, it's really having me feel like, not because this expansion came in, but I'm also feeling a feeling to pursue bigger and greater and, and danger. Somebody wants to try something different. Somebody doesn't want to remain in this uh, same position. Someone wants to see what else is out there. This could be you, this could be them, all right? Uh, resolving issues, though, is a must and a necessity right now. Um, I do feel like if this person wants to come in, whether you decide to rekindle your relationship once again, I do feel the need to resolve what had caused the breakdown of your situation. For some of you, it is needed to have this clarity. Um, some of you, it's needed to have this closure. Closure is needed. Um, in order for you to move forward, um, solving inner conflicts with others is needed. Okay. Healing past trauma. For some of you, you've dealt with more than just trauma with your situation here. Um, and you feel like it's time that you close that chapter in order for you to move on along the bridge. All right. All right. So let's clarify these messages here. All right, angels, please clarify these messages, please. What's the message? What's the message here? Please clarify these messages, please. Please clarify these messages for Aries, please. What's the clarity at this time? What's the clarity? What's the clarity? Please clarify, please, at this time. Please clarify these messages for Aries at this time, please. What's the message? What's the energy? What's the message? What's the energy? What's the message? What's the energy? What's the message? All right. Okay. We have the chariot. And the knight of swords. The four of swords in the reverse. Okay. The knight of swords in the reverse. The four of swords in the reverse. This person is definitely coming back, y'all. Your, your, your situation is not done yet. They're coming back. But the only thing is that what I'm seeing, though, or what I'm feeling, is 
they're coming back, but they're not coming back as fast enough as you might think or or as you might want them to do. Yeah. Um, I'm do I do feel like, you know, if you are planning on moving forward, you should just go and just do what you got to do. This is what I'm seeing because someone is right moving rather slowly. This could be you as well. I do feel like, you know, because there's a feeling of someone moving rather slowly. I do feel like you shouldn't wait time that came through early. Okay. But they're definitely coming back. Um, they're either coming back for their position or their position, whatever <laughs> with you. All right. Um, oh, the devil in the reverse. Look at that. Mm. Um, I do feel like, you know, for some of you, you're either about to block somebody here or you might feel like they have already blocked your energy. The Knight of Swords in the reverse, okay? Um, I do feel like because someone feels more like that there's a block energy that's going on here, I do feel, you know, for some of you, you feel like this person is kind of hopeless or this could be how you feel in general. Um, but there's absolutely no help that's coming through here because energy has been blocked because someone allowed that to happen. But And with the Four of Swords also being here in the reverse, I mean, a decision needs to be made here. For some of you, might have made one because you've thought about things and rested about it, cried about it, preached about it, complained about it. So now you kind of feel like now it's time that you make your move here to make a decision because you're already rested. You've thought, you think it, you think over time. And, you know, it's moving rather slow, but it's needed, okay? Um, and with the devil being here, my darlings, oh my goodness, in the reverse, wow, okay? Um, there's still a feeling of someone feeling stuck. Someone still being stuck here because of, of a situation that needed to be ending. Something needs to end. Something has to end in order for you to start this new chapter, okay? Um, just know, starting a new chapter doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to jump into another relationship. It just means that you're going to be cleansing your energy for the new. Whatever the universe is ready to re to give you, which the universe all has always been there giving you, but because you're intertwined into the energy of this situation, which is called someone with an ego, you have been slowing your process of moving forward into what you need to do for you. All right. And this is your self-love here. The six of wands in the reverse, your strength card. This is all you gather your strength, gather your strength and your confidence here. Okay. To move forward, to move forward, to approach the situation. It doesn't even matter at this point um, if it's just a situation with your person and you, what based on what y'all is dealing with right now. But it's just you in general, okay? Um, because with the six of the six of wands in the reverse, I, I feel a feeling of someone be either being ashamed. All right. Or someone either feeling like they might have suffered some kind of a loss or this is a loss that they don't want to lose. Somebody don't want to lose something. But for some situation, y'all, you have to let that go and allow a certain thing to happen. OK, if this person had left you, hurt you, betrayed you or whatever, you have to let that go here with the six of ones in the reverse and so that they could get their payback for what they have done to you. But you cannot want to do it all. It's not going to work with you trying to do it all. Because then you will be burnt out really bad here. Okay? The Ten of Wands. <laughs> oh my goodness. You will be overworked trying to do all of that. Okay? Honey, let me tell you something. You will be. Okay? And not only that you'll be overworked and overburdened here, but you, you're going to be trying to find clarity until all the cows left the farm and still haven't found it. <clears throat> when the cows all leave the farm, we'll still be out there under that tree looking for clarity, honey, when there's none, okay? Simply because someone decided to be stuck and burnt out and beat up on the situation situation that has no room or ready to change okay not saying that your person won't change because anybody you know most of us will change our ways but sometimes when you're sitting there waiting for somebody to change honey we'll, we'll be grayed up by then oh you know what i'm saying i don't know how long i'm gonna be here can't wait forever boo okay the two of wands yeah 
not taking this person is not taking what you want very seriously okay um they're not taking what you're saying very seriously they think it's a joke that's that's what i'm feeling okay they think it's a joke but honey it's time that you make a decision because time wait for nobody all right last time i checked the devil in the reverse the strength card in the reverse the six of ones the two of ones time wait for nobody but I ain't going to be waiting until all my grays turn blue. <laughs> That's on period. All right. So I'm going to leave this one here. This was supposed to be a little mini one, but that's okay. We got through your message. Um, Go ahead and thumbs up your reads for me on your way out, my darlings. I'm going to upload this alone, single. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and attach it. As well to a prior read that I did today. Okay. So we'll look out for that. I love you guys to the moon and to the stars. Um, continue to stay prayed up. If you do need to have a prayer request. Please let me know down in the comment section that you need one. Pray for me y'all. As I will be forever praying for you guys. Alright. Um, and again. Uh, thanks to every single person that has um made an appointment for a personal reading uh it's been uh, very busy but i love you guys we made it uh, work um today with the scheduling everything was a little bit crazy so thank everyone for their patience with the scheduling um i appreciate each and every single one of you guys all right for my news and for my returnings you guys rock all right, continue to make your appointment. Your girl is always here to deliver. I will see you guys tomorrow. This is going to be your last read for the night. See you guys tomorrow. I hope that you get this read tonight because my internet, honey, it's raining outside and my internet is slow. So if you don't get this read tonight, which, which I hope you do, then you'll see it in the morning, okay? I love you guys once again. Thank you for loving me. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to seek first thing you always find. Bye, guys. Thank you.